All eyes were turned upwards at Farnborough when at near supersonic speed flew the Saunders Row 53 rocket-boosted fighter. Development of it, already planned at the Isle of Wight Works, was the SR-177. But Germany has now cancelled her order and Britain's defence provision has no place for the SR-177. The fine optimism that swept cows a few years ago when the first Princess flying boat was put into the water has given way to despondency. Now, a thousand workers at Saunders Row expect notice. Six hundred more fear that their turn will soon come. When the Princess displayed at Farnborough its grace and power, there were no buyers. So eight million pounds of government money, taxpayers' money, has gone down the drain, spent in bringing the Princess to perfection. With the swift fighter, it was the same story of millions gone west. For though it once held the world speed record, it fell a long way short of service requirements. But whitest of all aeronautical white elephants was the gigantic Brabazon. By the time it took majestic wing before the proud eyes of Lord Brabazon and Sir Prime Minister George Strauss, 12 million pounds were spent. Of that 12 million, six and a half were public money. But no airline would buy the Brab. Cheaper and more practical aircraft were on the way. But don't worry, you can always increase taxation. Present Minister of Supply is Mr. Aubrey Jones. His presence a few months ago at the Royal Aircraft Establishment at Bedford to inaugurate the huge wind tunnel underlined how closely ministry and aircraft industry are linked. All the manufacturers will benefit by research here. Nor in remembering the ministry's losses on aeroplanes must we forget its gains. Outstanding just now is the Britannia. 77 are on order and on all aircraft partly financed by the taxpayer the Ministry receives a percentage of the sales revenue. As for the Viscount, it makes a big contribution to the aircraft exports total of well over a hundred million pounds a year. The industry can undoubtedly deliver the goods, but for the taxpayers' sake, can't those costly mistakes be prevented? We can't go on throwing money down the drain. That incomparable aircraft, the Comet, is back. From this point, may we go on from strength to strength.